I was 54 when I pricked up the chainsaw. I'm now 70. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to retire, but don't plan on it anytime soon. <laughs> Chainsaws are a fearsome bit of kit and operators on a work site must be certified with a chainsaw ticket. Alice is the only person in today's teams who has one. There you go. Vicente's team's outdoor classroom will feature three benches with tiered seating. Atop each bench post will be a carving of an animal living in the woodland. Yeah. Are you wanting it there or you want it up here? Uh, just there is fine. Alice's bits of trunk won't just be ornamental, they will form the bench's back supports. Vicente and Dave are working on the bench legs. Right, so pair, pair, pair. They will connect them to Alice's back supports using super-sized dovetail joints. Known for their strength, this traditional joint is often used in furniture making and its history spans as far back as the ancient Egyptians. My dad taught me all the techniques that I know and from a very, very young age I was able to uh, master the dovetail and uh, certainly upset my teacher at school um, when I told him he was doing it wrong once. The lads are old school and proud of it. Vicente doesn't even want to use any screws. The main idea is try not to use any fixings, you know, so we'll avoid that at all costs. Alice is carving up a storm, a whirlwind of wood chip. She's roughed out a squirrel and an owl and is now working on sculpture number three. Vicente and Dave are using traditional tools to carve out the dovetail joints. Dave is hard at it with a hammer and chisel and I don't have a clue what Vicente is using, but it looks like a lot of fun. Is that a proper uh, woodworker's tool? Uh, I don't think it's a proper wood worker. So uh, it used to be my grandfather's. Right. Uh, and he was a uh, butcher. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he was a, a woodworker. Uh, he had a, his things that uh, I inherit from him. Um, and it, it works like a delight to chop wood. Alice has put away her chainsaw and is now using an angle grinder to add more detail to a bird of prey. Her artistry with industrial tools is quite incredible. It's a bit harder to do because it's very small with the beak and if you just take that little bit too much off, you've ruined it. Alice has brought out her blowtorch. Now we're just giving it a bit of colour and it also takes the hairiness off the wood and uh, just finishes it off nicely. Wonderful, right. But what's this I spy? The modern fixings that Vicente said were a no-no? Well, modern fixing exists for a reason, right? <laughs> we have to, so if we want to finish, we need to like get modern fixings on it. Vicente is putting his brute strength to good use, hammering the bench legs into Alice's ornate back supports. Yeah. It's a rush to the finish, in which one slip could lead to disaster. Lovely. You grab that badger gently. Right, which bit first, top or bottom? Uh, up. Let's put this one roughly where he goes. OK. Watch that squirrel. Yeah, don't break his ears off. There's only time left for a few finishing touches. Built to withstand the ravages of the Scottish climate, Vicente and Dave use super-sized dovetail joints. Mm -hmm. 